Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your tarot reading. So um, when I was uh, shuffling out the spread, I have a very vivid image for you. And what I'm seeing is uh, it's a countryside pastoral scene. Um, it looks like some type of an Asian, like Southeast Asian country. Okay. So you have, um, you know, kind of like an agrarian um, society and you have these women, they're, they're pretty young, like in their 20s, they're outside threshing uh, the, the rice stalks, okay? So they're trying to separate, um, like it's been dried outside, so they, they're trying to separate the, um, the grains of rice from the husk or whatever the, the outer covering of it. And so what they do is they thresh it or they... Um, kind of beat it against this uh, mat, this straw mat, and the heavier grains of rice falls into the mat while the lighter outer layer is dried up and the wind will just carry it away. Okay, so I'm seeing these women talking, gossiping, just having a grand old time while they're, um, you know, joining together in this sense of community, doing this chore that might seem very, very tedious and not that fun, but they're making an event out of it. They're making a spectacle out of it. And in the meantime, they're able to, you know, socialize and just, you know, have a really good time. So that's what I'm sensing. And um, the first thing that came out of that image uh, were the words about preservation, okay? Preserving what's important, preserving what is going to be uh, life-giving, okay? Because uh, we think of, you know, uh, food, nourishment, and, and things like that are things, are sustenance, are, are things that are substantive and things that can really uh, bring life into a situation, things that can really help a society or a community grow, and things that are very vital to our livelihood, okay? So I feel like you're in the process of separating the wheat from the chaff, and you're trying to figure out what do I need to keep and what can I just toss to the wind, okay? So in a material way, for many of you, this is literally indicative of some type of a major process of purging okay purging behaviors or things in your physical environment that are no longer good for you okay so i'm sensing like you know um digging through your closet and 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 donating things to charity cleaning up your house and figuring out that you know this is not something i want to bring forward with me so i'm going to try to uh, release them and trying to let them go and hopefully somebody can make you know better use of uh, these items and then I also feel like in a um, mental, spiritual way, purging the negativity, okay? Purging the things that kind of like uh, cloak over the things that are important, okay? So, for example, I'm sensing that, you know, for many of you, uh, figuring out how to streamline your work processes, how to like connect with other people in your work environment so that you're not just, you know, uh, some worker in a, some anonymous worker in a cubicle. You're creating that sense of community. You're reaching out, you're branching out, and you're in a position where there's more lighthearted energies. There's more, you know, camaraderie between you and your coworker. So whatever environment you were in before, I just feel like every man was for himself you know everyone was working but they weren't working together and then um it just seemed a little bit isolating whereas you're coming into the month of october there's a lot more socializing there's a lot more camaraderie there's a lot more of like like-minded people joining together to fulfill or you know establish some type of um like a common goal, working towards a common goal, working with common tasks, working with commonality. So I feel like you're connecting with a community of people that you might not have uh, been able to connect to before. So I feel like, you know, um, we all need our alone time, but I, I feel like you are breaking up or waking up from your slumber and joining that sense of community of people, okay? Um, the other thing I'm sensing as well is... Um, uh, the other word that came out 
is I'm, I'm seeing like seeing the importance in things okay so like I said the denser things the things that are substantive the things that are of value they sink into the mat right or they rest on the mat and the things that are frivolous the things that we really shouldn't bother or uh, give our energy to give our time to they're going to be cast away into the wind okay and so there's this process here about being carefree again throwing your cautions to the wind um, going wherever you know the winds might take you and trusting that your destination is going to be uh, an environment where you're well cared for where your needs are going to be met so that that's what I'm seeing here and so the energy for this month I feel like there are major crossroads that you're kind of like um, walking towards okay it's like uh, everything is converging all the roads are converging and you're gonna have to figure out the next big phase and the reason why I say that is we have this card about things coming in okay so we have the three of wands this is something that we have been waiting for a really really long time for and you guys are very very patient in general you know you don't get anxious you don't get restless and even if you do you don't let it show in your demeanor in the way that you're interacting with other people you you rarely rarely show your impatience with other people with situations so I feel like you have been um, patiently diligently you know just minding your own business working at your craft building up your wealth waiting for the next step okay and I feel like for many of you this is pretty much the next step in your career we have the six of wands this is like prestige getting recognition being um, somebody who other people look up to and they're going to look at you they uh, want to you know pick your brains they want to ask you for advice and expertise and this is also somebody that has, you know, a lot of recognition. They have a lot of achievement under their belt. So many of you are in this position where the things that you have worked really, really hard at and the things that, you know, you've contributed to society in some way or the things that you, your skills that you carry with you, the things that are of substantial value are being recognized, are being harvested, are being re uh, realized by other people. So there is a major, I feel, um, possibly three paths, two paths when it comes to your career, okay? Where do I want to go? What is um, the best option for me? I feel like many of you might be at a crossroads where you're trying to figure out, you know, what is my next move? What is the next stage? What is the next thing that I'm meant to be? And um, in, a, in a way... I feel like Piscean people are very, very spiritual in general, and you believe in signs, you believe in synchronicities, and you believe that, um, you, you believe in like the divine guiding you. So you see signs, and you see uh, patterns, and you feel like, you feel like those signs and those patterns are created in your environment just for you to guide you in the right dis, um, direction to help you make the right decision and I feel like there's a lot of spiritual hits coming through where you are being divinely pointed towards the right direction and so I'm seeing some major major decisions okay this is like a brand new path opening so you can see kind of like the land clearing up and these two people, you know, they're just like, we've, we've made it, we've conquered it. Now, what is the next step? And so there is internal conflict here. Five of Wands, okay? This is like not so much fighting with other people, more so fighting with yourself between what is the practical route that you need to take versus the route that you feel you're emotionally or mentally or some in some type of way that you can't really describe like um, intuitively drawn to so I feel like there are two paths that are opening up and you're not really sure which road to take okay one road is going to take you to the top of your career path king of wands this is someone who's made it this is someone who rules like you know a kingdom okay He's looking at all his subjects. He's making sure that everyone is well, well fed. And so you're in an environment where things are very cushy, right? He can stay here forever. Like, um, he, he's, he exerts authority. He's well taken care of. His subjects are well taken care of. So it's a very, very comfortable, lush 
um, I want to say plentiful environment. So you're going to keep advancing, keep climbing, and keep, you know, um, keep at it wherever you're at. So it's a very, very comfortable situation. On the other hand, we have another path where you're dealing with a little bit more, I want to say, instability, unpredictability. You might be in an environment where, you know, the, the work is a little bit more challenging. The work is a little bit more unpredictable. There might be a lot of, um, I feel like uh, there's a lot of risk associated with making the wrong decision. Um, not so much there isn't a right or a wrong decision with your own personal decision. But what I feel is this job you've already known it in and out okay you're already at the peak of your career this job on the other hand it's like there's a lot of risk about making the wrong choice um making the bad decision or making the wrong choice garners real life consequences okay so i feel like this is what is really drawing you but there's a lot about you feeling like, I don't want to fail, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to do something wrong, because there are real world consequences. Whereas in this job, I'm already where I need to be, I already know everything inside and out. And so while this offer is coming to you, I feel like you know there isn't a, uh, a right or a wrong choice. I feel almost like somebody coming in wanting to appease you, wanting to like bargain with you, wanting to barter, wanting to, you know, really keep you around. So they're making like a, a gesture. And I feel like you're in a very good position if you're um, if you're like negotiating your salary, ne negotiating anything for the month of October, you're in a very, very good position because I feel like the other person or the other group or the other situation is coming to you, taking the initiative to make you multiple offers that you can't refuse, okay? So you're in a very good position. Money looks really, really good. And you have um, two cards. I feel that Aquarius also received, okay? So we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a very stable, um, it, it, it's a situation that stands the test of time, okay? It's a very stable, structural type of an environment where things have been built over time, where there is like a support system, where there are networks, where there are like linkages that have been established over time over many, many, many years, and I would say decade, is a situation that is very stable and it, it garners or it promises a lot of financial abundance, okay? So wherever you go, there isn't a right or a wrong choice here, Pisces, and I feel like you're caught between, you know, comfort and stability. And then there's this alluring second choice here where there's a lot of risk, there's a lot of excitement, and there's also a lot of like needing to think on your feet. And I feel like because this other situation is so dynamic, it promises a lot more prosperity and a lot more wealth down the line, okay? So um, for those of you who are in a position where you're negotiating or you have been offered a position, this is an offer that didn't come lightly okay it's not like they're you know uh rounding every joe schmo down the street and offering him a job okay a lot of people are vying for this position but higher ups whoever is in charge they've got you in mind and they're willing to really keep you so they're willing to negotiate with you on your terms so this is a card as well about competition. So I feel like it's not, it's like you, you decimated your opponents. You really, really stand out. And I feel like your diligence when it comes to your work and being responsible and being like, um, being very intuitive about um, making, you know, taking risks and things like that really pays off. And at this point, they really want you, okay? Um, I'm also feeling this energy in terms of like partnerships as well where there might have been you know two options okay uh there is one option here for stability and then another option for excitement like extreme excitement and i feel like once again there isn't a right or a wrong choice it's just a matter of whether or not you are ready okay whether or not you're ready for that commitment if you are then by all means you know be prepared to um be prepared to enter it for the long haul and then on the other hand there is a situation here where it's it's more about you know 
excitement and and it might be something that can you know I, I feel like a situation where you're getting to know somebody a little bit more on the superficial level like the relationship has the potential to deepen okay but on the surface it seems like there's a lack of compatibility you might argue all the time conflict okay you might not really agree with each other on an ideological level. The swords indicate, you know, mental processes, thoughts, beliefs, ideologies. And I feel like there's a lack of innate compatibility. However, for whatever reason, the two of you can build together and the relationship can deepen. And there's a tremendous sense of trust as well. So you might not be totally compatible when it comes to the things that you like and you don't like, but deep down, there's a mutual sense of like, you know, really respecting the other person's um, um, intelligence and respecting the fact that they're going to be there. They're going to be like a, an equal partner. And then they likewise, you know, feel the same way about you. So there is a, definitely a softer choice, safer choice here, but there's oft, uh, also a more um, dynamic, a more, this has more friction in it, I feel, but it has the potential for longevity as well. So I definitely feel you have either like, you know, two um, people or two career paths and you're at kind of like the, that, that major fork in the road. And I feel like there isn't really a wrong choice. It's just, you know, allowing the experience to come in and then choosing to experience something first and then maybe experiencing this other thing later so i feel like for for many of you there is definitely crossroads decisions and things like that and i would say don't fret over it okay um what i'm also sensing as well is um you have a lot of divine protection and divine guidance and i feel like this is what i normally call like ancestral karma okay we have here the six of pentacles this is like very very uh, strong good karma coming back home to roost okay whatever good deeds you have done and you guys are uh, aside from like you know the aquarius people you guys are huge humanitarian signs of the zodiac okay you guys care about the underserved population you guys um it's, it's almost like your heart bleeds for others who are suffering okay and so there have been a lot of good deeds, a lot of good acts that you've done over the years, and they have not been unnoticed. You might feel in the midst of it that, you know, I've done so many good things for other people and they just take advantage of me. Um, and I feel like, you know, the, the whole concept about, you know, giving alms and, and, um, and um, serving others is that we want to uplift them we don't want anything in return because if you look at it okay those uh, the beggars on the the street they don't have anything to give back so when we give of ourselves of our time money resources whatever it is we want to do it for the betterment of the other person we don't really want anything in return because they're not in a position to give us anything in return and so I feel like there's a, a tremendous good karma coming back into the picture. Um, and I feel like for many of you, the career portion has been at a stalemate for quite some time. I would say like for the past five years, your path kind of meander, okay? Um, some of you might feel like a little bit stagnant when it comes to your career. Others of you are just like waiting for that big break, okay? Waiting for like, um, a, a change in a career path or doing something that is not so mundane and, and you know mindless and so what we have here with the Emperor energy is somebody in a higher up position they are really taking notice of you and I feel like this is one of the ways in which um, the, the uh, spiritual you know good karma can manifest is being very visible to uh, you know, people in positions of authority that can really help your career, um, and I feel like you know you're, you're getting a little boost from the other side, where somebody that has that is helping you, uh, helping you stand out, helping you in some way. And one of the stories that um, I, I want to just mention very quickly, so you understand where I'm coming from. You know how like sometimes 
when you're like um, when you're in a new work environment right for some reason for example you have like you know a secretary sue every time she comes around your cubicle or your office she always sees you kind of like spaced out so in her opinion she's all like oh the Pisces is like spacey and not doing a lot of work and not very productive but every time you know um, IT technician Joe comes around you're always typing away you're always like eating at your desk and you're always like super hyper productive and so um, IT guy Joe always uh, thinks the Pisces person is so hardworking. So it's kind of strange how certain people have different perception of us, right? Based on their limited experience or interaction with us. But for whatever reason, there's a pattern. Every time Joe sees you, you're always like working. And then every time Sue sees you, you're always like spaced out or, you know, on your phone. So it's just, you know, they're give, getting a very narrow uh, snippet of your of your environment okay they're getting a very narrow snippet or understanding or assessment of you so what I'm feeling here is there is some type of a synchronicity associated with the the person in a position of power who can really help uh, who can really make or break your career and for some reason this person whenever they see you thank God you're always at your best you're always working and so in their mind they're like I don't know what anybody says about the Pisces they're very very hard-working and I feel like you've registered on their radar for being a hard worker or for being a good worker for being diligent for getting the task done uh, this is someone who's very hard to please okay with this Emperor energy this is someone who rules Empire so they have to make rational decision they value ingenuity they value hard work they value in a way um, doing things by the book okay because I, I always associate this the stone bench as someone who's a judge and who's a juror someone who is you know a little bit like hard to please and they really have a deep innate understanding of people and their motives and, and things like that they don't see any hidden motives in you they see you at your best and I feel like for some reason they're always watching and so I feel like there might be a situation where success is very very slow as in, in as indicated by this you know tortoise success is coming in they've been working behind the scenes to manifest things and, and to pull things into your orbit okay and I feel like there will be some type of a major offer coming through when it comes to your career and it's going to break open and, and open up a new path for you. We have here things coming in, your ships finally coming in, things that you've long awaited for and things that are, you know, uh, right up your alley that are meant for you. So I feel like one of the advice that um, is coming out of this spread here, we don't have, we don't have any suit of, well, we have the sword energy. We only have one suit of water this is the knight of cups okay this is your energy um a little bit like trepidatious you know this is not someone who's very aggressive this is someone who's very likable this is someone who like you know um likes to ask co-workers how was your weekend you know how was the game how are the kids you make the rounds and you you know you're, you're very amicable you're very likable and you know you um I feel like you're quite popular in your environment. This is the month where we are going to need to be a little bit more action oriented, okay? I'm seeing all the wands here. King of Wands, Five of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Six of Wands, and the Emperor, which is a major firehouse, okay? So what I'm seeing for this month is we need to quicken the pace. We need to be a lot more assertive. We need to be, you know, a little bit more proactive about going after what we want. If someone is coming in with an offer, you want to be a little bit more strategic. You want to bargain you want to you know negotiate in a way where it would benefit you never mind you know um you guys are very conscientious you don't like to inconvenience people so you might say like oh is that too like modesty you know you have this sense of modesty oh is that too much i don't want to drive you know such a hard bargain and then they um they they can't meet it and then they never get back to me 
This is a month where it would be in your best interest to bargain or negotiate smartly because I feel like somebody really, really wants you for the job, for the position, and it could be work, it could be relationship. So this is the month where it is very important for you to kind of um, be very clear about what you want and you know not compromise on that okay because I feel like you're in the driver's seat and you're in a position where you can exact have exactly what you want where you can exact change and where you can you know pull the right thing towards you because everything that you've been working really hard at has substantive value and other people see that okay um, that's what I'm sensing um, I feel like further down the line, there is a position of leadership that is kind of like um, in line. And I, I want to say like, you know, two or three years, possibly in three years time, there it's almost like um, being groomed for a position of leadership. That's what it feels like to me, being groomed. Uh, they see that you're a very sociable uh, type of a person. A lot of people like you. And a lot of the times too, you know, um, upper management, they, they look at that, you know, they look at someone who's likable, they look at someone who's easygoing, but they also want someone who's very competent and capable of doing the work. But, you know, social niceties and being able to blend in with coworkers and being able to like understand coworkers and connect it to coworkers, it goes a long way in the world of management, I guess. And so I feel like, you know, they're, they're seeing a lot of good qualities in you and they're trying to groom you. And they're just like, this person is really, really nice. They need to be a little bit, I'm sorry. They're, they're thinking the Pisces person is very, very, very nice. Very nice, very sweet, soft hearted, you know, uh, sympathizes with a lot of people, empathizes with a lot of uh, people's struggle. And it's wedged between King of Wands and the Emperor. So they feel like you have to take more initiative. Uh, they feel like they would like it if you can toughen up a little bit and I feel almost like they They want these changes in you mainly because there's a position here where it's like it's made for you They're grooming you for that position So I do feel like there's a major breakthrough here a position of power or prominence in about you know possibly three months time or even like a three years time where you're going to be managing, supervising or overseeing the work of, you know, subordinates or um, it, it's a high in like high power, high impact type of a work and they want you to be a part of it. OK, you have some really positive things coming into the picture for you. And I just feel like um, I can't stress enough. This is kind of like a major fork in the road, a major turning point. And I also feel like, you know, the it's like the dawn is breaking and the path is being shown. And I feel like someone has been working behind the scenes to 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 make this culminate for you. OK, so it's not just uh, a coincidence. I feel like it's actually coming into the picture. Um, I'm just going to pull out. I feel like the reading's a little bit short compared to the other signs. So let me just pull out. Let's do three cards. What else do you want? Pisces to know for the month of October. Okay. So what I have here is the Empress. This is also a number three, okay? This is about expansion, communication. And what I'm really drawn to is um, that 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 uh, winding path that she's looking at up the mountain, okay? This is somebody who is, um, I feel like for, especially for many of you, you could be male or female. If you've been kind of like a stay at home, um, you know, mother or father, and you're uh, you're just feeling a little bit antsy and you want to get your career restarted or you're in a position where you're just like oh I've been at home for so long my skills are rusty I don't want my skills to get rusty I want to be back on the job market I feel like you're definitely juggling here and having a major conversation with your partner 
um, and the partner we have here the king of pentacles and this is traditionally somebody who brings home the bacon right somebody who's like um you know um a, a caretaker in, in the uh in the home like a provider excuse me not a, so much a caretaker this is like the, the caretaker the empress but this is the provider and so i feel like you might be dealing with another person who uh if you're in a relationship uh, especially where if they're just at home taking care of the home and there's nothing wrong with that you know we we also value housework because uh, somebody's got to do it right to keep the whole household afloat right so I feel like somebody might be feeling like oh I, I don't really want this life I want to get out and get back into the labor market and then I feel like there's a discussion here about finances you know um, for example if you have children and you and your partner are just like well if you work then who's gonna take care of the kids and then if we have to put them into childcare we have to put them in daycare and we and it, it gets really expensive so there's definitely some major calculations that you and a partner are um, making regarding somebody returning back to the labor force wanting to work so that their skills don't get rusty wanting more out of life wanting a career wanting to jump start some type of a career okay so that's what i have for you here um there's also really strong expansion pregnancy discussions about delaying pregnancy as well in order to jumpstart a career or in order to see a career come to fruition before we can have further conversations about you know children i also feel like there's a, a lot of financial stability coming through so if you've kind of been struggling and you have a partner and you're now at a point where i think you and your partner are well prepared to make that major decision you know because finances is it's looking good and so you're thinking like are we ready to have children are we ready to to you know bring more people into this household okay so beautiful reading beautiful energies and i feel like this month is going to be a really really good month for blessings and a lot of expansion coming through either in love or either in the work environment and i feel like it's going to make you pleasantly happy all right so Pisces. I'm glad to uh, get a hold of you guys again and to touch bases with you guys. Thank you for still viewing my videos. I really appreciate that. So I just want to uh, give a little bit of an explanation. I had to take about six months off uh, from the tarot mainly because my main job was very, very taxing. Um, I feel like I have a good handle on it. So I'm going to try to start up the channel again. I can only commit to um, doing realistically just one set of videos for the 12 signs a month so there won't be a mid-month okay there will just be a monthly and that is all the time that I really have uh, because of my main job um, I appreciate you guys still hanging around and uh, for the record I'm no longer doing readings but if you are interested in a reading I've included a link in the description box below for a fellow colleague her name is Bridget she is amazing I highly recommend that you get a reading from her um, take care of yourself enjoy the rest of September and I will be back um, in the month of October for November's reading okay take care bye bye